Hello and welcome to day eight of traveling the United States of America. Today, we're in Roswell, New Mexico. There is a UFO McDonald's and that is the theme of Roswell, New Mexico. Everything alien. Everybody in this town believes in aliens. There's aliens on every business. This McDonald's alien. This McDonald's UFO shaped store was ranked one of the most interesting McDonald's in the world. And just across the street, there's a Dunkin' Donuts. Being held up, you can go. Being held up by a 14 foot tall alien guy. On my way to, on my way, traveling across the United States, I marked down Roswell as a must-see destination. Now I'd already been down through the main street, and every single business has an alien in his window. They got a statue. They got anything and everything alien-related. unidentified flying object crashed about 40 miles away from Roswell the locals believed that the unidentified flying object was a UFO and they had aliens on board but the military posed it as a high climate flying balloon now most of the Roswell citizens will believe in aliens, of course. But the military said what they said. Who do you believe? Since then, after that, in the 90s, the city of Roswell decided to adopt the alien theme into their city, making it a staple of their downtown. After a lot more sightings were spotted in the area, I talked with a lot of people who are very passionate about their beliefs. They say, that the aliens that crashed that day were worked on in an autopsy. They had surgery done to them and ended up killing them. And the people that did the surgery were mysteriously killed in a car crash about 30 days later. Carlos, adios Carlos. Adios. Adios. Nice to meet you buddy. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Adios, good travels. <laughs> Mexica Alien 102. That's just amazing right there. Believe it or not, if you believe in aliens, if you don't, it's still a fun place to visit and it definitely is a lot better than most cities that don't have anything interesting about them. But here in Roswell, aliens everywhere. El Pollo Bravo, alien Mexican cowboy, alien chicken playing a guitar. Obviously the city of Roswell has profited off their themed alien. It is everywhere in the city. Next to Alien. Now, whether you believe in aliens or not, the bigger question 
of that debate is do you trust your government? Do you trust that the government is telling you the truth? That there is no living life forms outside of Earth? Or do you say F the government? Or do you say or do you say I don't believe in the government? I believe in aliens. But me personally, the government tries to hide a lot of things from us. There are tons and tons and tons of classified documents that they're not allowed to share with us and some that they probably will never share with us. There's been reports of unified, un unidentified flying objects in our skies by the government, but never anything about aliens or life outside of our planet. So the bigger question is, is the government lying to us? Is that why they don't want conspiracy theories? Because maybe one conspiracy theory might be true. Maybe there is aliens. And maybe that's why they call all conspiracy theorists crazy. Because maybe... And that's why they call all conspiracy theorists crazy in our society. Because maybe one theory might be true. And that's... Are aliens real? And the bigger question, are aliens among us? Are you an alien? I am too. We are both aliens in this strange world. He's an alien. I'm an alien. Oh my God. Roswell only has about 40,000 citizens, but during July 4th, the Alien Festival brings about four times as more people into Roswell. Roswell, New Mexico, the city of aliens, actually had a TV show. It was called Roswell, New Mexico, and it was featured on Netflix, where the main character came back home to the city of Roswell. Where she, uh, where she got back into her family life and started dating her old boyfriend or an old friend who turned out to be an alien. The series was canceled after four seasons. We are here in the Roswell UFO Museum in the center of Alien City. Now, a nice old man gave me his wristband and said, you can have it, I don't want it. So now we're here, free entry, let's go. Nice people here in Roswell. That guy and a lot of other nice people. It's a weather balloon proclaimed by the government. Same back in the 40s that a balloon crashed 40 miles away from Roswell. But if you have an open mind, it was aliens. 1947, it's the deepest sense the search of extraterrestrial intelligence is the search for ourselves.
These are the typical aliens. Now most portray them as green, just because that's the mainstream way, but when I asked the local that ran a shop, he said they're most likely gray. I read a stat saying that two thirds of Americans think that there's intelligent life outside of Earth. Two thirds, that's a lot. I came all the way here from Dallas on my way to Los Angeles. And this was one of the cities that I looked most forward to going to. To see all the aliens. city is hilarious. One of the most interesting things I ever heard in my life is that it was a quote from, I don't remember who, but he said, it's more terrifying to think that we are alone in this universe rather to think that we're not alone. And me personally, It's scarier to think that we're alone in the universe than being visited by aliens. I was told by a shopkeeper that during the 47 crash that the two surgeons that operated on the aliens were mysteriously killed just a month later from car crashes after they fled the Roswell area. <laughs> also a lot of people think that aliens were contributors to ancient society's progression in life, including the building of the pyramids, ancient Inca Aztec cultures. Look at that. Is that real? No, it's not. And they describe and in ancient drawings there's a lot of weird looking figures maybe they just couldn't draw or maybe they were drawing the aliens What they're claiming here is that in ancient times, the ancient people were astronauts who built contraptions so they can see the so they can see the stars and figure out what they are. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. It's very fun to think about. And if you really look at it, this is the guy, he looks like he's in a contraption. 
he looks like he's using the future, a futuristic type of thing. And if you watch Graham Hancock's show on Netflix, you can see that there is proof a lot of people believe that ancient civilizations were very prosperous and very advanced in ways that we don't even know. They might not have been as advanced as us, but they could have been consciously more advanced. And from space, they could have been more advanced. And an interesting theory that just gave me goosebumps is that ancient people from thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago if there were societies and people that were technology that were technologically advanced at the time and knew how to navigate the stars that they could have left earth went off to another planet to do their own alien things. And then nowadays they are coming back and visiting us. That is a very interesting theory because I think it's near impossible that civilization started just a few thousand years ago and we haven't been advanced for so long. I think there's a possibility that ancient civilizations left Earth and they are coming back looking like this because they've been in space for so long. These could realistically be humans from our past. You never know. It's a very fun theory to think about. Is the government lying to us? Who knows? After so many discoveries in space, I heard in fact from Neil deGrasse Tyson saying that there's infinite amount of space in the universe, which means infinite possibilities, which means aliens. Infinite, infinity is extremely hard to even comprehend. So, there could be aliens in the universe that we may not even know. There's just an infinite number of possibilities. Do you find gentlemen believe in aliens? No? our time in Roswell New Mexico it's the end of the first video probably gonna make another video tomorrow about the lake the bottomless pit lake so that's gonna be pretty fun so peace out so peace out from Roswell New Mexico stay tuned for more videos and thank you for watching whoever's watching this I love you thank you I really appreciate it peace out